we're back out of here at the fire area. We're going to do a little bit of pocket 10 to seize testing. I have a container I'm going to try to test out to see if we can get a boil in it. For those of you who have been following the series all along, you've seen that I've tested out the plastic produce bag that I have in there. I also have an Altoids 10, obviously. I can boil water in that. However, it's not very much. Uh, I recently added a little bit of aluminum foil to my kit. They're both a reflector and a makeshift container. And I'm going to test it today to see how much water I can bring to a boil in that container. Another nice wet fire. It hasn't quit raining here for it seems like three days. Everything's nice and wet. Cold base going, and uh, got water on there to boil. In case you're wondering what the container's going to look like, just a little bit of heavy duty aluminum foil into a makeshift style bowl. About 24 ounces or so of fluid. I created that little area right there. That's quasi flat. Put my 
container there. Try to get ourselves a boil. percent watertight so we'll see how this Seems to be holding water okay. Alpha close to a bull. Just hear the moisture in the wood. It's starting to dry out.
Let's see what's starting to bubble up there. built a cup earlier. It didn't seem like it wanted to hold water as well. So I used the same foil and reconfigured it into this bowl type configuration. It seems like it's holding water a whole lot better. If you're going to pack this foil, make sure you go with the heavy duty aluminum foil or you're just going to go right through it. This is Reynolds Wrap. Heavy duty. By the way, air temperature today is, I think we're down to about right around freezing. With 10 to 15 mile hour winds from the west. bubbling in there. So inside that little Altoids tent you have enough to make a nice little frying pan. All you got to do is get a wide stick and use that to make a frying pan, which probably would have been a good idea for using for boiling. I might try to do that next. Um, you can make a bowl, make a cup, anything to that effect. And as you can see, it definitely will hold up to sustained fire. I'm just going to let this keep going until we have a failure of the container or I run out of firewood. Whichever seems to come first. Which I have a feeling I'm going to run out of wood before. If it gives out, because I've used this on my grill for hours. Alright, sorry I lost you for a minute there. Uh, the uh, wind's once again overheated. So far we've had it oh, pretty close to a boil several times. I just need a little bit more of a cover for it seems like we're just keep boiling off more than we're doing it's actually any good so we still have a good half inch of, of water still in there from where I left it pretty full but that's also from where it's you know, tipped a little bit if you had it just on a bed of coals it would obviously work a good bit better overall it hasn't really leaked held up to the flame pretty well and it's done everything I've asked of it. Uh, it's boiled water at least twice. Um, I just added a little more water to it a minute ago so we'll see if it raises the temperature back for this water rapidly.
I don't know how well you can see it, but in that corner, back corner, we have a nice rolling boil. And a pinch box will work. Seems like a nice little addition to an Altoids tent. Takes up hardly any room, sets on top, and is a good little buffer to keep everything from rattling around inside your tent. Highly recommend adding it to yours. Have any questions, always just ask. Leave a comment, and I'll see you next time. Of it real quick. Got a creosote, that's it. Just looking over it, I don't see anywhere where the integrity of the container is given out. That thing will hold for quite a while. I recommend you have to your kit.